Okay, I did the test. I have uh, a surrogate 12 volt, or 24 volt transformer here that's plugged into the wall with a suicide plug. And um, that's connected to the gas valve directly, so it's bypassing the controller. The controller uh, would be putting its 24 volts on this wire and this wire. Instead of those two driving the uh, gas valve, it's driving the light bulb. So the two light bulbs, two 12 volt light bulbs in the series, they're telling me the, uh, the controller down in here is commanding the gas valve to be on. So if the controller, if something acted up in the controller and it starts uh, blinking that light or the light goes off, that's telling me that the controller is shutting off the gas valve. But in real life, the gas valve won't actually shut off uh, because it'll keep running because I have a surrogate substitute 12 volt or 24 volt running it. So that way I'll be able to, oh, see, look, something's happening already. See, look, it's getting intermittent. See those uh, lights getting bright and dim? that would drop out the, the gas valve. So picture, if you will, so instead of these two wires coming from the, uh, the controller and driving a gas valve, they're driving a 24 volt set of light bulbs right now. So I can visually see what it's doing. So I saw some blinking there. Uh, so that's interesting. So even if they go out, the gas, the, the, the furnace is gonna still stay running uh, because I have the gas valve bypassed. I just have it powered up by here by the transformer. Now, uh, the only thing that uh, I don't have, they don't have uh, flame proof, proving in the flame with a flame sensor. The flame sensor is over there, what they call flame rectification. Uh, if that goes off, I have no way of shutting off the gas right now. In fact, I have, the only way I can shut the gas off is I manually disconnect this. So it's somewhat of an unsafe deal, but as long as the fire stays lit, don't have to really worry about it. See how that's going on and off? See, there it is. Look, that would be dropping out the gas valve. Uh, interesting. So, what we don't know is what's causing that. Uh, I don't think it's the uh, flame sensor because if the flame sensor were to go, let me back away so I hear the noise. If the flame sensor would go out, it would cause a restrike. And a restrike would mean a recycle, uh, it, would, it would detect no flame. And so then it would start the hot surface igniter, which you don't see here lit. So, uh, yeah, so there's definitely something in a controller. I'm thinking it's one of those relays. So I may uh, take the relay, take that control board out and change the relay. But clearly I saw some, uh, some disruption in that current that would normally drive the solenoid for the gas valve. That would cause the gas valve to drop out, it would cause the flame to go out, cause a flame detector to not detect flame and tell the controller something's a mess and get the thing all fouled up. So uh, so this is good. Uh, at minimal, it would uh, let me heat the house up uh, because even though it's somewhat unsafe, I could let this uh, run for as long as I needed to heat the house up. There'd be no thermostat basically at all because when the house reaches temperature, all it's going to do is tell the computer to shut the gas valve off, which it won't because the gas valve is getting power externally, but it'll shut the light bulb off. If I see the light bulb go off, then I can, might be able to assume that the thermostat uh, is up to temperature in the house. But uh, yeah, okay, so you saw it here. You see those, you saw those lights kind of blinking, so uh, that's good. I'm going to stop this video and go post it. I have to make a decision should I walk away unattended? Probably not a good idea kind of learned my lesson with those batteries here. But in other note here, there's Tiki the cat sleeping. That's what she does best. Uh, I did get the drywall uh, cut out here a little bit ago. There's the new sheet. I have to shave a foot off there. I might even do that tonight, depending on how much energy I have left. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and get that new piece of wallboard uh, taped up in there, or screwed up in there and then taped here. I'm going to go take one more screw out I see that I missed. So... Okay, all right, I will stop the vid video. Place is a mess, you can see it right here. Uh, the reloaders are moved. Uh, I'm making a little progress though. So I'm getting uh, jiggy with my uh, my nice new home here, my new toolbox, which is gonna go over in that area. But uh, I'm getting uh, all my electronic tools in here. 
I got so damn many drawers, I don't know where everything's at. So, I got some electronic tools there, books and papers there, my meters there. I have uh, other stuff here, all my new crimp tool stuff. So, the place is kind of in the shambles right now, but it's going to come together. We're going to have a garage party. When all this COVID crap is over and everything, we're going to have a garage party from hell. So there you have it. I'm going to stop the video and we'll uh, maybe I'll just shut it off now.